six pound ten ounces. Okay, now that was after everything was out there. Okay, now that was a cock bird, not a not a cock bull, but a cock bird, and I minced him. Okay, I minced the whole bird, all of me. Okay, now by knowing these records and knowing who they are and knowing what they come from, you know then if you've got a problem. Now you'll see on a lot of these things they'll have numbers. P22. That's what I was the record. So I can go back, find P22 and say that's what I've read out. Okay. Now that's a pretty recent bird. Okay. What actually happened is one of our particular lines that we're, we're crossing over at the moment has really thrown some bad stuff. It's starting to bring out the really bad points in it. Now, if you have a look at that, it's got a corkscrew in it. It's got a twist in it. And if you have a look at the actual rib cages, they're different lengths. You start to measure off those bones, and if you look at that bone there, it's quite a large one than everything else. The fourth bone down there, look how tiny it is. It's got an extra one on that side. So, this year, and this is what happens when you're, when you're trying to get all these problems out. You'll go along, that's where you keep your best bird. Okay, your straightest bird. Okay, it still might not be the best bird, it's not the best show bird, but it's got the better, better qualities for breed. Okay. I'll give you a, um, uh, just, just to round the whole thing off. Yes, it's, good going, idea. it's going. It's going too long. It's going too long. But how many people <laughs> do, who have exhibited a bird have ever seen a judge take it and feel the framework of the mm. bird? Mm. I guarantee you, I've shown birds and seen about 50 or 60 judges normally who've done the rounds of these shows. And I haven't, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I take that back. I've seen one, maybe two judges actually feel the curve of the, of yeah. the and, and run their fingers down the key. Of that. So, um, a lot of people don't know what the framework of their bird is like. And it's really the basic building block of your bird. It's very important. Now, I can actually tell you a really, really little story about that. This year, last year, we went down to Penrith, which is the national titles for the main chain. Okay. Anyway, we left really, really early in the morning. We drove down to Sydney and to Penrith, and I grabbed the birds and put them in the show boxes to take down. And of course, crows quite big boxes. And we get down there, and it was dark. And we were cleaning our birds and put them in the cage. And I took the leg, leg band off and I said, Tom, oh, I've got a problem. I said, I brought the wrong bird down. I actually took the wrong bird. The leg band said it was one of my butcher birds that I was going to put in the fridge. Oh, the crow, he, well, the judge put that bird up as top bird of the show. Okay. Now, to me, I'm going to eat that bird, and I still, I still like that bird because <laughs> that bird was not good enough for what we're breeding. But it took out top bird of, the, of, of, of blues, blues and white. What, what was the competition like? There was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of birds. Jeez. Yet it took our best uh, colour, uh, best colour, blank. Yep. They were blank pairing, and then, and then yep. I will have to stop by yep. myself in the minute. Last time. So you're judging the birds more on their offspring rather than what the bird itself. Obviously, has that straight brain, but but you you judge more on what. Um, well, we can the way we cross the lines more what, what the offspring comes out like rather than the, the bird itself. Like the bird itself doesn't have to be a perfect bird, but if you cross with another bird and, you, and the, the chick comes out of it, it is the better bird. That's, that's the bird you can breed from rather than the bird that might be perfect itself, but it, it can give a, a bad we'll, chick. We'll, we'll always go for the breeder over the show bird. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and our breeding. We are very lucky actually because the standard in the Australian standards for a crow blanching is a 
very good standard, and it's 100 years old, basically, the standard for it. The nice thing about it, it actually provides about 50% of the points that are allocated to a bird out of 100 are for the utility qualities of the bird. The eating and so the therefore, they're the talking the about size. The, the size, the framework, the abdominal capacity of the bird, so that you, the, the hen can mm -hmm. lay eggs, uh, etc. Looking at the ratio of meat and, and, and bone size, mm -hmm. uh, etc. Now, all of these things are utility qualities. I won't mention the breed, but there's another breed which you can get, and uh, it's not Ross or anybody here that I don't think you've got them. Uh, but it's a, a, uh, a very nice bird and a very, probably a very nice bird to breed. But 60% of the points allocated out of the 100 for that bird go on colour. And, and so you could almost get a, an ostrich, mm. and if it had the correct colour, and, and uh, the other one had good colour, the Oshawa could win it. Yeah, yeah. Try to put it out, of yeah. course. I'm being stupid. But yeah, but yeah. you can see what I mean. We're getting the point point you know, stupid, Your bird that's going to be your better breeder, and your, and your, as long as you're always improving, you never go backwards. Mm -hmm. yeah. so thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.